Good afternoon. Welcome. Welcome Hadley students, staff, and members of our community. Today we are gathering to plant a tree in honor of Mrs. Gottlieb, who was our beloved teacher, colleague, and friend. Mrs. Gottlieb loved teaching and inspiring a love of music in her students. She was also an accomplished pianist who enjoyed studying piano and performing. Mrs. Gottlieb also really liked being outdoors in nature, taking walks with her dog Pepper and spending time by the ocean where she lived. Her warmth, kindness, and generous spirit made everyone who knew her feel special. Mrs. Gottlieb was always full of zest and life. We felt that planting a tree was a special way to pay tribute to Mrs. Gottlieb's spirit. Mrs. Gottlieb was very connected to her Jewish faith, and in Judaism, the tree of life is an important symbol. Trees give us oxygen and shade, provide shelter for animals, and add beauty to our environment. We chose an ivory silk lilac tree that blooms in June. You can see it's blooming right now. And we thought this was special because June was Mrs. Gottlieb's birthday month. It has white flowers, which are delicate and graceful, just like she was. We felt that this was the perfect spot to plant the tree because it overlooks the ocean and it's in Linscott Park where we walk every day, play, and have community celebrations. We look forward to watching this tree grow and bloom for years to come. Now Ms. Eisenberg is going to share a poem. poem is called, When I Am Among the Trees, by Mary Oliver. When I am among the trees, especially the willows and the honey locusts, equally the beech, oaks, and the pines, they give off such hints of gladness. I would almost say that they save me, and daily. I am so distant from the hope of myself, in which I have goodness and discernment, and never hurry through the world but walk slowly and bow often. Around me the trees stir in their leaves and call out, stay a while. The light flows from their branches and they call again. It's simple, they say. And you, and you too have come into the world to do this, to go easy, to be filled with light and to shine. Now we're going to have one student from every homeroom class come to the front to add a shovel to the tree. And while this is happening, we're going to play the song Somewhere Over the Rainbow because this was one of Mrs. Gottlieb's favorite songs. And the version that we're going to play is by a Hawaiian musician whose name is Israel Kameka Vivo Ole. So if those students, one from each homeroom, could please come now, we will start adding dirt. Okay.
Now I'd like to call up the fourth grade chorus. Hello, everyone. Um, so the fourth grade chorus is going to be performing a piece of music called Dona Nobis Pacem, and it means give us peace. This is a quote from Plato. Music gives a soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to the imagination, and life to everything. This is, sorry. <laughs> this is a quote from Keith Richards. Music is a language that doesn't speak in particular words. It speaks in emotions, and if it's in the bones, it's in the bones. I think music in itself is healing. It's an explosive expression of humanity. It's something we are all touched by. No matter what culture we're from, everyone loves music. There are um, a number of people whom I would like to thank this afternoon. We have several members of our PTA here, including our PTA president, Rebecca Spelios, our PTA vice president, Jessica Todd, as well as other active parents in the Hadley School PTA. We want to thank you for selecting this beautiful tree and for making this very generous contribution. 
Thank you also for assisting with ceremony preparations. We are so grateful for all you do. I want to extend special thanks to Gino Cresta, who is the director of the Swamscott Department of Public Works, Jean Gardner, the town's tree warden, and their crew for planting the tree for us and taking care of all of these arrangements. Um, finally, I want to give a very, very special thank you to the Hadley staff for supporting our students and one another this year during the transition that we faced. In a moment, we are going to close our ceremony, ceremony by singing our new Hadley School song. I want to share how the school song came to be. Back in the fall, at our first all-school assembly, it was the day before Thanksgiving, Mrs. Gottlieb led all of us, all of you, in the song, One Big Happy Family. And it was inspiring, boys and girls, to see how joyfully you sang the song. Because of your enthusiasm, Mrs. Gottlieb and I decided that we were going to change the verses to turn that song into the Hadley School song. And she was really excited about this. We felt that it was important to honor Mrs. Gottlieb by following through on this project. When Mr. Bomber joined us after April vacation, he and I worked on the song. Today is the first time that we are going to sing this school song all together, which is very special. I'm so happy that we now have a school song which we will sing for years to come. And each time we sing it, we'll be able to think of Mrs. Gottlieb and all that she has given us. Mrs. Gottlieb, this one's for you. Thank you all so much for a lovely ceremony, and I want, hope that we, we have this beautiful tree and we'll enjoy it very much. Thank you all. <laughs>